Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, Danny here with the Wandering Wedlocks. I uh, wanted to give you guys an update. So last time we checked in, excuse me, last time we checked in, we bought this 30 amp uh, power cord here. And I told my wife, this thing looks like a sad face, uh, sad ghost face. I don't know if that's, that's the right one. But anyways, so this is the cord that uh, we got. And when we got to the rig, we ended up with this cord right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. This is the cord and it converted to a 15 amp, uh, 15 amp uh, male, male part. <laughs> so what we're doing is we had to find out what this was and uh, it turned out to be, we checked with the campsite and they had no idea. They said somebody configured this and they did it the quick way instead of getting it uh, getting it done the right way. So they uh, coupled it with this uh, this male portion here, which turned out to be a 20 amp um, generator cord. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut the. Going to go ahead and cut this cord here, right here, and so um, and uh, we're just going to cut it right down the middle with a uh, with a, uh, a wire cutter, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and split it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is the cut uh, uh, cut wire here that you can see. Okay, you've got the uh, black, you've got the white, and then you've got the green that is a uh, that is your ground. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I went to Home Depot and I got a couple of these um, shave terminals. And I'm going to go ahead and show you here. So I'm going to cut the cord, which I already did. And then I'm going to go ahead and undo these. I'm going to take this, cut this cord off, take a knife and cut right down the middle, open this thing up, cut it all around right here. So now I've got the three wires exposed. And what I did was I took the knife and I went down around right here in this area so that I have the copper wires exposed to me now. So now I've got them exposed and what I'm going to do with these uh, with these couplers is I'm going to go ahead and put them right into just like that right into our thing whoops. right into here and I'm going to crimp it together. So just like that now the wires are kind of sticking out right there. I'm going to go ahead and crimp this down and make sure that the, the plastic is uh, good enough. So once I do that and once I get all of that done, I'll go ahead and, um, oops. I'll go ahead and show you guys. So with these things, put them right on top. And then I'm going to crimp them down so that it's all connected and I'm going to once again leave the white portion so that um, I have, so it's going to look like this. Okay, squeeze that in there. It's going to look like this. And then the ground is going to look like this. Now, whoever did um, the... Uh, outlet for my RV before I bought it um, did a pretty sloppy job. Not only did they connect a 20 amp cord into a 30 amp, uh, amp uh, box, but they also left the ground just le leaving, uh, just hanging out there. So we're going to ground, actually ground the ground um, wires so that everything is working uh, properly and uh, ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is once I have these in place, I'm going to go ahead and take a wire uh, crimper and crimp them right in so that they stay attached. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys outside what it looks like when I connect these, uh, this cord, or this end of the cord here. So I took this end of the cord out. I'm going to go ahead and split this up and I'll show you guys how to do that. There is some insulation. This is just the insulation. I wouldn't worry about it. You can cut it right off. And here is the three uh, power cords, or excuse me, the two power, uh, the hot wires, and here is the, uh, here's the ground. Oh, here's the ground, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing, use these couplers on it, and then I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to connect it to my uh, relay box or my breaker box outside the panel to receive 30 amp, um, 30 amp, um, power. All right. See you later. 
What's up, guys? So we finally got, uh, uh, finally had some time to uh, get to the rig, and I'm super excited because uh, um, I get to uh, put the um, uh, 30 amp cord on. So uh, it used to look like this right here. I uh, last year's I cut this uh, part off. It's been a little while, but I think I'm going to uh, edit all in so you guys can see all of that stuff. But today um, we have this. Okay, that, uh, and you can see it's from the 30 amp, uh, 30 amp cord, um, and, uh, go ahead and put this, um, and turn off, obviously, turn off, um, the breakers and everything like that to make sure that there is no electricity, uh, flowing through, uh, but then we're gonna go ahead and install that, uh, um, and make that, uh, in the uh, male end is going to be extended 25 feet so the entire cord is going to be 25 feet super excited about that so um this was the the cord that uh, uh used to be in there but uh, now and then the other thing i'm super excited about is i received my um, I received my uh, cables to install my uh, 1500 watt inverter in the front of my rig as well so my uh, projector can uh, go on there. Super exciting to have a big screen TV. Uh, so I'll show you a little bit about that here. Okay, so I just flipped the camera around and this right here in this area right underneath uh, the cabinet right here is going to be the projector and it's going to shine over here and under this cabinet right here is going to be the pull tab so I took off uh, we took off all of the curtains so that we can uh, sew um, uh, velcro sheets in the back of them so we can interchange them uh, for uh, a uh, other uh, so we can attach different things to them uh, to make sure that they're warmer or uh, make sure that they reflect the heat when we are out uh, in the uh, more hotter climates so all right uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn off uh, all the breakers to make sure that there's no power coming through uh, and we're good to go Okay. Okay. Let's turn all of that off. Hopefully you guys can see that because it was kind of dark, but it's all off now and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, move forward. Okay, I just checked with my multimeter and uh, everything is uh, completely, there's nothing, uh, there's no, no current running through these. So I'm gonna go ahead and unclamp this right here first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over here, take these wires out and then go ahead and uh, plug them in. And I'll show you guys, cause I don't have a, I don't have a camera person here with me. And, uh, and I, don't, I forgot to bring my darn tripod. So <laughs> be back with you guys in a little bit there. I got uh, one of this uh, this top one loose here, so now I can wiggle it right out, right? But I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to go ahead and open these up, and I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these as well to take the wire completely out with this flathead here. And I think I can go ahead and show you guys if I did it with one hand. Oh, let me go ahead and oh, never mind. I don't want to strip the bowl, so I'll go ahead and show you guys after I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, I have removed these two, right? And uh, now I can go ahead and release it. I undid the screws, and you always want to leave it in a safe location, maybe in those little trays, so that uh, you don't lose any of your parts. And I'll go ahead and start pulling this thing out here. Okay. Might have to loosen this thing a little bit more. Nope, I think we've got it. We uh, do it one at a time here. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these and compare them to those. And they actually look pretty good, pretty standard there. About the same, uh, about the same size. I'll show you here. Maybe about the same size there. A little bit, uh, these ones might be a little bit thicker. But, uh, these ones should be all right. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install these right, uh, right in. 
Okay, so now I've got it completely off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this right here and see how my particular rig, it will not fit into this port. So I'm going to go ahead and use this end and go all the way up with it underneath right here. I'm going to go ahead and slip this all the way through and this will be hanging uh, all the way up the rig and it'll be protected because it's uh, far up. So, uh, pretty cool, nifty thing there. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I roped these cords into this port. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up a little bit. Make sure that this is tight in there and then clamp that down and I'll show you guys in a little bit. Okay, as you guys can see, I've got uh, the uh, insulated part a little bit in here, and now I'm going to go ahead and start tightening it up. So continuing to tighten. It's hard to do it with one hand. <laughs> So I'll show you guys once it's all tightened up. Now that it's nice and tight, pulling on this baby and nothing's going on here. So that's a good thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my ground in and I'm going to go ahead and connect my wires. Okay, so let me show you guys this thing is all complete. I've got my ground in. I don't know if you can see that. I've got my ground in to that last port there. There was two, uh, there was four actually, and I used it. It was the same gauge as the other wire, so I just put it down there. I've got my my neutral and my hot right here, and they're uh, in. Uh, I think they're pretty covered up, so I don't think I need any electrical tape there. And I made this so that it's tightened this up so that it is I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty tight in there. Can't tap and pull in on that. And uh, this thing right here is installed in here. So anytime I'm done driving, I'll go ahead and take this up right here. Take this out and I'll go ahead and pull, pull this through the underneath of the rig. And I'll show you it comes through that hole right there. And as a matter of fact, when I pull it up, I'll show you guys. Once I pull it up, it sits underneath, it sits underneath just like that. So, um, and I'll get a cover over it that's going to go over this, uh, over this whole thing so I can protect that. Uh, and that's it, guys.